While Mary was pregnant with Jesus, the emperor, Augustus Caesar, decided to count all the citizens of the Roman Empire. So everyone was required to go to their hometown to be registered in the list. Joseph, Mary's husband, was from a town called Bethlehem, and it was a long journey to get there from Nazareth. By the time they arrived in Bethlehem, Mary was about to give birth very soon. They looked for a place to stay, but because there were so many people who had come to town, it was impossible to find a room. Everyone sent them away. But finally, one of the landlords had mercy on them and offered to let them stay in his stable. Inside this little stable, Mary gave birth to Jesus. They wrapped him in some clothes and laid him down in the manger that was used to feed the animals. On the night that Jesus was born, there were some shepherds in a field keeping watch over their sheep. All of a sudden, a bright light appeared all around them. They were terrified. Then they heard a messenger from God, an angel, speaking to them. Do not be afraid. I have great news for you. Today, in Bethlehem, a child was born who will save all people, the Messiah. You will find him inside a stable, lying in the manger. Then many more angels appeared and started to sing. Glory to God who is in heaven, and peace be with the people on earth who he loves. After that, the angels disappeared, and the shepherds left everything behind to go find the child in the manger. When they found Mary, Joseph, and Jesus, they were overjoyed and thanked God for this child. Joseph and Mary took Jesus to Jerusalem for purification rites. There, Simeon, who had been promised by the Holy Spirit to see the Messiah before he died, recognized Jesus and praised God, saying Jesus was the Savior for all nations. Simeon also prophesied about Jesus' impact on Israel and Mary's future sorrow. Anna, a prophetess, also praised Jesus. After completing the rites, Joseph and Mary returned to Nazareth, where Jesus grew strong and wise. When Jesus was 12 years old, he visited the temple in Jerusalem, together with his parents. The temple was a big building, similar to what we would today call a church. It was the time of Pesach, the most important Jewish festival. Many people came to town to celebrate. Afterward, Mary and Joseph returned to their hometown and realized Jesus was not with them. At first they weren't worried. They had been traveling together with some relatives and assumed Jesus was coming back home with them. But after a while, they realized that Jesus was nowhere to be found, so they went back to Jerusalem to look for him. After searching for three days, they finally found him inside the temple. He was sitting with the Bible scholars and the Jewish leaders, discussing with them about the Holy Scriptures, the Jewish Bible. Everyone who heard him was impressed with his knowledge of the scriptures. But Mary wasn't happy. Jesus, why didn't you come with us? She said. We were looking for you everywhere. We were so worried. Why were you looking for me? Jesus asked. Didn't you know that I would be in my father's house? He was referring to God as his own father. <laughs> 